What's up everybody? Today's video is gonna be about five millionaire habits that have changed my life. I'm not gonna go over anything that's generic or basic like reading or listening to podcasts or going to seminars. All of those things are very basic, very baseline, stuff that I've already mentioned in other videos. This video is all about going in depth, mindset wise and habit wise on what you can do to actually make yourself more profitable and make yourself more money. So we're gonna dig right in. All right, so the first habit is going to be associating with successful, like-minded people as yourself. You are quite literally the average of the five people you spend the most time with. So and that, that, that could be personality-wise, that could be habit-wise, that could be money-wise. That's all of those factored in. So if you just did the exercise right now and said, okay, who are the five people I spend the most time with? How much do they make a year? Or, or what type of jobs do they have if you don't know how much they make a year? What are their habits? Like, do they eat healthy? Do they drink? Do they smoke? Like, what do they do? And, and then you just compare it to you. And that's just a way to prove what I'm saying. Like, it's kind of mind blowing when you first realize it, but it's true. You are the average of the five people that you spend the most time with. With that being said, spending time with like-minded, successful people, and you're gonna want some of these folks to be more successful than you, making more money than you, better in relationships with you, or better at some things. They have to push you in some way, some shape, some form, you know, because it's gonna rub off on you in the long run. Just like if you hang around some friends who party all the time, you might find yourself out at a party even though you're not naturally a partier. If you're around people who read a lot, you might find yourself reading sometimes, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. So these are the things that make you more successful. People are like a catalyst for success. It just speeds the process up. They can show you what mistakes they've already made. They can show you things to avoid and they can show you how to get there 10 times faster just by networking, just by being in that association. And with association comes with masterminding and all these incredible things that monetarily are worth thousands and thousands of dollars, but half the time just being around these people in their minds and just and just picking their brains, you can actually, you can, you can get information for free that people are willing to spend several hundreds and thousands of dollars for. And just to piggyback off of association, we're gonna to go to the next habit and that's gonna be mindset shifting slash asking for feedback. You, you want to constantly challenge the way that you're thinking because if you think about it, people that are ahead of where you are now, the one thing that probably separates them from you isn't education. It isn't necessarily what they were born into. It wasn't necessarily uh, that they're just better than you or smarter or they were born into a rich family. It's generally just their mindset, right? It's not their race. It's not their economic upbringing. It's their mindset. What is different about their mindset? So, so you probably grew up with a certain way of thinking, whether it's family members passing it down or friends that you were around all the time who passed them down to you. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you should always, always challenge your belief system. I'm not talking about religion. I'm purely talking about the way that you think about things, about challenges. Some people think that money is evil. Okay, and they'll pass that down from generation to generation. They'll say the improper phrase that money is the root of all evil. And everybody knows the real phrase is the love of money is the root of all evil. But either way, you grow up thinking that that's your truth for the first 10, 20 years of your life. And then you find later in life that having money is a form of security, it's a form of generational wealth, it's something that can make your life and your family's life way better. And so when you have mindset shifts like that, and there's tons of mindset shifts you can have, these are things that make you more profitable. It makes you a better person. It makes you a more open-minded, well-rounded person. And that's just how it is. And then just on the flip side of that, asking for feedback. So along with association, pick one person that you look up to and, and 
an area or multiple areas of your life, right? Some that some somebody that you look up to is like, man, that person has a fantastic marriage. I want to be like that. Or this person's doing great financially. I want to be like that. Pick their brain. Sit down with them. Have some coffee. Have some food or something, and just ask for feedback. Like, what can I do better? To what can I do to get further along? Now you got to have some thick skin. Do stuff like this. And by the way, I have a video, shameless plug, about how to grow thicker skin. If you want to check that out, it'll be up here somewhere. And so check that out if you haven't already. But seriously, you're going to want to sit down with them and say, what can you do better? And what you'll find is you're nowhere near as perfect as you think you are. You'll find that there's so much value in what they have to say. And they're not charging you a dime for it. These are the things that if you do it habitually, if you do it weekly, monthly, you know, I have a call with my mentor once a month, once a month. doesn't cost any money. It's purely just a guy that I really look up to. He's, he's doing, he's killing it in pretty much every area of his life. I aspire to have that type of success in my life. So doing the same can really add extreme value and that's straight up a millionaire habit. This habit will straight up make you more money. And also think about this. Mindset shifts also comes with <clears throat> The books that you read, the stuff you listen to, what are you putting into your into your brain, right? Like you want to have a healthy diet when you eat. You want to also have a healthy diet with what you're listening to, with what you're reading, with what you see, with what you hear. So don't associate yourself with negative influences or things that will bring your mood down. And with that comes the next one. So with mindset shifting, you're going to definitely have just a, a bunch of thoughts in your head that aren't necessarily your own. Like you'll just hear a bunch of different perspectives and you'll agree with some of them. You'll, you won't agree with all of them, but sometimes it'll take you a while to register like what you agree with and what you disagree with. And for that, like this habit is key because this, in my opinion, is more important than going out of your way, associating with, with all these successful people. This is important because your thoughts matter. So you need to sit down and think about what do I agree with? Why, why did this person say this? Why would this apply to my life and how could I make my life better by applying this ideology to my life. When you think about stuff like this, you really get to hear your own thoughts because when you're reading or listening to a podcast or you're listening to people you look up to or when you're like listening to a circle of friends or something, not all of it's going to be applicable, not all of it's going to be practical and not all of it is not all of it's going to be good information. Just because you look up to a person and they say something does not mean that they're right. That's <laughs> that's a harsh truth of life, but it's true. So think about it when you're alone. Like sometimes I do this first thing in the morning. Like I'll just sit and like reflect. Reflecting looks like this. Sitting down quietly in a room by yourself. Or if you have a family, everyone's asleep. You're just, you know, thinking. And you're like, okay, I read this yesterday. And this is what I think about it or or even, it doesn't even have to be about stuff you're learning about. It could be a scenario. Like you could have gotten into an argument with a coworker yesterday and been like, okay, this this argument happened. I said this, this person said that, okay. Well, I really shouldn't have said this. This is what made this person get really upset with me or, or vice versa, whatever the case is. Or maybe I shouldn't react a certain way when people say something, but it's you're reflecting on what's happened. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help you make more powerful and impactful decisions going forward so you don't make the same mistake again or, or, or whatever the case is. And that's why the power of reflecting is so important. Or it just looks like you writing down how you feel about some things, or if you're just writing down business goals and you're writing down how far you've gotten along with it. There's a certain power to putting what you have in your mind on paper or even in your phone because then you can see it. Moving right along, when you have downtime to like decompress and, and you know, you've had a long day at work or you've had a long day at business and you've just had a bunch of people you've had to deal with all day and this went wrong and that went wrong, instead of uh, consuming stuff, like there's nothing wrong with relaxing and, and watching a movie now and then or, you know, going out to eat, just having a relaxing night. But if you're talking about a habit, right, we're talking about something that you do regularly. And I wouldn't recommend regularly watching TV, regularly watching movies, sitting down all the time in front of a TV. You're stagnant. You're just sitting there and you're not really adding value. All you're doing is entertaining yourself, which you should spend the time doing. This is what I would recommend. I don't know everything, but what I would recommend is building your skills. 
all of us have an idea of what we can improve on. And if we don't, that's what the whole feedback purpose was that I mentioned earlier. So if you just think about, okay, I've been struggling with, with Excel spreadsheets or I've been struggling with communicating with people in a proper way that doesn't make them upset or angry or, or I'm, I'm struggling with managing money right now. Build upon those skills. It's totally free. You could, you could be on YouTube like, like you are now. You could be on YouTube building a skill. How do I manage my money? By the way, I have videos on that. You know what I mean? How do I have better relationships? How do I control myself more? When you build on these skills, it makes you more profitable. It makes you more profitable. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. Build those skills. Whether it's like uh, watching YouTube videos or, or whether it's like just reading a book in an area that you're struggling in at night, like right before bed, just, you know, reading a chapter or something at night. Just habitually, you're going to have so much knowledge if you do this on a regular basis. I'm not saying every day, but do it on a regular cadence. Twice, three times, four times, five times a week. Seven days a week if you can do it. These things are going to add value to your life. Moving on, we have meditation. And this is something that has really, really added value to my life. And I never thought it would. Uh, the, the, this one is extremely valuable. I don't know how else to say it. Like, this is last on the list, but it's certainly not least. When you meditate, it it straightens up your mind. Like, I don't even know how to explain it, but I'll just share this with you. Like, I had a period of my life, right, where a lot of things were stressful. And it was recently. It wasn't like five years ago. It was pretty recently. And I was just going, I was just having all these things happening. And like, I was getting stressed out. Like I remained cool on the outside, but on the inside, I was going crazy. Meditation can cool you from the inside out. So you're cool outside and inside. Like I just had so much stuff going around me. And what it does is it helps you operate in chaos. So I bought a course on meditation and it was a fairly cheap course and it adds so much value to my life. It was actually a, a guided meditation course. It's not like a religious course like a, it's not like buddhism or anything and it's not like finding your not, nothing weird like finding your third eye or anything like that if you believe in that sorry if i offended you but all i'm saying is it's it's nothing that's out of the norm it's literally teaching you a new way of thinking and it's kind of like an out-of-body experience because you get to look at the world a lot differently once you do this on a habitual basis and on this course that I'm talking about, it was a 21 day challenge and it was amazing. And you can do it more than 21 days, of course, if you want. But just to say this, don't wait till you're stressed out to start meditating. Start doing stuff like that. Even if it's just silence in your own room and you're just going over your own thoughts, it's another form of reflection, if you will. When you do stuff like this, it, it has a lot of value because it keeps you calm. You know, it, it allows you to operate in that chaotic environment. And, and and this is my, this is a point that I want to bring home with this. I heard a millionaire one time saying, he's filthy stinking rich. This guy is ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, he was like, you know, I was on an airplane with a billionaire the other day. And we, we were just, we were just talking about the, I think they were in like a private jet or something, but they were discussing, you know, what differentiates the successful from the unsuccessful. And the billionaire says, Oh, it's easy. It's not my intelligence. It's not my upbringing. It's none of that. It is purely my ability to operate in chaos. And that struck a nerve with me. I was like, yo, now that you think about it, what, what do you hear all the time that successful people say? Per persevere. They say, keep going, stay strong. What do you think is happening when you have to stay strong? Chaos. You know, you have sicknesses in your family, but then you have all this responsibility at work, but then you have kids at home, but then you have all these other things, and then you you have a flat tire, and then this happens, and then that happens, and then you miss your flight, and this all of these chaotic events happening. How do you stay cool through that? How do you still get to where you need to go despite all these things happening? Not by having a mental breakdown, by operating in chaos. So that's the video I have for you guys today. I hope you guys liked it. I'm Reggie Bryan. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Check out some of my other videos. They will add value to you. Thank you so much for watching.